International excitement. Best overall value of the year in their respective class. Coop. A milestone year. Wow, this is great. And the EV1 experience. For the week of January 20th, 1997, this is Window on Saturn. Hi. Earlier in this edition of Window, you saw a new Saturn Japan advertisement that's airing only in that island nation. Well, now you're going to see a creative commercial that's being broadcast exclusively in Arizona and Southern California. As you might have guessed, the ad is for the EV1, and the mood it creates is just, well, electric. electrical appliances aren't alone in their great interest in the innovative new car. EV1 customers are equally as enthused. Michelle Bowden has the story of one such Phoenix, Arizona man who took his new EV1 home last month. Donna, Mark Agnew took delivery of his EV1 amid all the hoopla of the retail launch day in December. Even after the day's events were done, the excitement was far from over. That's because he's still getting plenty of attention, whether it's at home, on the street, or even at the post office. Mark Agnew's car is drawing crowds. You can only lease them from General Motors, and they base the lease on... What am I thinking of the attention? I, uh, I don't really mind. Uh, uh, it's kind of fun. It'd probably get old, but uh, you make new friends that way fast. In the first few days he had the EV1, Mark says he gave test drives to 50 people, no. both friends and inquisitive strangers. Wow, this is great. I'm using all my charge, giving people a charge out of the car. I kind of make it a habit now that I got my 10-minute presentation to make sure that I don't turn the car on until they're in it, and then turn it on and light that dash. And oh, my goodness. <laughs> Good heavens. But all the attention doesn't keep Mark from getting things done. He uses the EV1 like he would any other car. Mark first heard about the vehicle back when it was being test marketed. Once he learned the car would be leased from Saturn of Tempe, he went and met with a Saturn sales consultant. Her job is to separate the serious customers from the curious. The first step is to explain the vehicle, go over in detail um, all of the technical aspects of the car, and then they make an appointment with our specialist, Joe, and he's excellent, great guy, and um, he comes out and really explains in more detail and fine-tunes the vehicle to each individual. We didn't have any product yet, no brochures, nothing, but he was pretty adamant about meeting with me to talk about this, so we did. He pretty much committed that day to the vehicle without driving it or seeing it. But it was apparent that the technology was going to be there, and it was going to be fun to have. And driving and having an automobile ought to be fun. Once the customers commit to leasing the EV1, the specialists visit their homes to introduce the vehicle and plan for installation of the charging unit. Joe is finding that in Arizona, most of the serious EV1 customers fit the profile Saturn had developed. The majority have been technology fans. In fact, Saturn designated a demographic for this product, and I have to say they've hit it right on the nose in Arizona. 
you know, the, the age and the male technology fan, the income level has all been pretty, pretty darn close to what they slated. A retired IBM engineer, Mark Agnew fits the profile. He compares the EV1 to the early personal computers he worked on in the 70s. And we didn't know at the time, we didn't have a clue where that technology was going to go, but we knew that it was a concept, and uh, as we pushed that concept, refined and got better, the technology and the use of that get better. I liken this vehicle a lot to that. Uh, ten years from today, uh, you, you probably, uh, it'll be commonplace to have those vehicles. And the charm and the, the, the fact that people are stopping you and want to get in the car are going to be gone because it'll be commonplace. At least I hope that's true. Now that the EV1s are available and on the road, there's an incredible amount of interest in them. And a lot of people want to take one out for a spin. Well, at Saturn of Tempe, the policy is to let anybody who asks go for a ride, even if they know they're not going to lease one. Hey, it's history. Donna? Thanks, Michelle. And already there are plenty of serious customers. By the end of December, 76 people had taken delivery of their EV1s in Arizona and Southern California. Another 29 had made firm commitments to lease them, and more than 450 more customers were in various stages of the sales consultation process. Now here's a look at Saturn's latest national sales figures.